guys, I hope you're well and welcome back. And hello if you are new. I am the Budgeting Woman and over here we share lots of content around cash stuffing and finances and budgeting and all things like that because mine and my husband's goals at the moment are to really clear down the small bit of debt that we have and then start working on some of the huge life-saving goals that we have. So if that's your kind of thing, then I would love to have you do click subscribe just down there as I share weekly cash stuffings alongside reallocation, savings challenges, and so much more. But today we are doing week two of December's cash stuffing. So if you wanna see exactly where we're stuffing this money, then just continue to watch. Okay, so today I believe we have a very small cash stuff in today. I believe we have 65 pounds, I want to say. And that is because there is quite a few things that have sprung up on us. And I always say that like weeks two and three of the month are our slightly uh, smaller months. So this week we have 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65. So like I said, I think this is probably one of the smallest cash stuffings we have had, but I have a purpose with this money. Um, I, yeah, I'm waiting for some money to come in from a couple of jobs that I've done, um, some bit of self-employed self work, and so is my husband. So we are waiting for that money to come in, but with being self-employed, it can obviously come in whenever. So we are waiting for that, but this week's money has a purpose, as I just mentioned. So I'm gonna go through here. Now, we literally have nothing. I don't know if you remember, but last week, I only allocated five pounds into miscellaneous, and that was literally for some parking at a hospital appointment I knew I'd have. So, we've got some change. Um, I think I've just found some change during the week as well, and like pockets of coats and stuff. So yeah, we are actually gonna go for, a, I don't know why I'm saying this, for a full on no buy week this week. So I am going to leave that. I know we pretty much did a no buy week last week, but I have nothing for this week that we're going to need to spend any money on. So that's what we're going to go with. But I might change that up in a little bit and you'll see why. So in terms of change, we have got three pounds and then we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 110. And then we'll pop that three pounds over there. So let's grab our penny savings challenge. And excuse any background noise you can hear, that's my dog, she is on one at the moment. Um, how are you all? How have you all been? It's so exciting. We actually went on the Polar Express this week. So some of the change I've actually got left over was actually from like our family fun binder and things like that. But we didn't actually spend a lot. It was really, really, really good. So if you have a Polar Express near you, I would highly recommend it. Um, it was amazing. We loved it. Okay. So I said we had 110. So let's take off 80. Which is here. And then have we got 30? We do. Amazing. So 80 and 30. That is really coming off now. I'm really, really chuffed with how well we're doing on that. We don't have overly a lot left. So I'm going to leave that over there to dry. And I'm officially all done for Christmas. I think I mentioned this as well. We've actually started now um, working towards our like Christmas food shops. We've started getting a lot of that in this week, which... I've been taking some money out of our Christmas savings challenges to kind of pay for that, which is amazing to know that I've got all of that done, which is really, really good. So this week, I've actually decided that all of this money is going to go to our challenges. So I know it seems a bit brave, but Knockout 9 is killing me at the moment. And there is so much money in here. And I would really like to get this reallocated out before the new year. So I'm going to see if we can get this finished, but it might not be possible because I only have left, what do I have here? 65, 68 pounds. And I know that there's about 90 pounds if we were to hit this bad. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go, but I would really love to get this reallocated. So I'm gonna just allocate all the money to savings challenges this week and see where we come to. Um, and I also wanna get Christmas finished as well. So, <laughs> Let's see how we go. Right, here's our dice. We need our pens. And knockout nine absolutely hates me. But we're gonna give it a go. Okay, so we have three. 
and four. So what's that? Seven. Six and five is 11. So we're gonna go for nine and two. We've got six and a four, which is a 10. So we can go for a six and a four. Okay, this is already making me feel so much better. A four and a one is a five. Okay, we've still got that eight on there. A three and a three is a six. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got eight, three and one. Oh, and also we needed to pop two pounds in here from our challenge last week as well. So I'm gonna pop that over there. So we've got eight, three and one. So four, that's 12. So if that's 12, what am I doing? I need to put, I put in 15 and I needed to put in 14 hypothetically. So I need one of those back. Is that right? Why is my brain not working? Okay, so hold on. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then we put in the other two pounds as well, which would make 14. So if I put in 15, it, I, oh no, it will owe me a pound back, won't it? Okay, let's do that now, just so my brain doesn't get fragile. So eight, nine, 10, 11, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if I put in 15, it owes me a pound. Yes, that is 100% correct. Okay, so it owes me a pound. <clears throat> okay, and now let's do the next one and see where we get to with this. So a five and a four is a nine, amazing. I'm actually so excited. This is gonna be like our first saving challenge complete. A three and a six is a nine. So let's do an eight and a one. A one and a two is a three. A five, oh dear. And a five is a 10. So we can do a six and a four. Oh God, I can hear my dog licking away. A six and a six is a 12. So we can do a seven and a five. Oh my God. And I mean, we're just gonna put the two in because we're never gonna hit them. Oh my God, guys, we've done it. Oh, I can't believe it. And we have not been hammered on our last one. So that's our final money going into knockout nine. I cannot believe We've actually done it. And look at how much change I've got sitting on the side. I'm so, I'm so shocked by that. Okay, so should we give this a count and see what we've got in knockout nine? I can't believe we've completed it. And I have a lot of pound coins, so. Ah, look at all those pound coins. I really, I really need to do a condensing. Right, let's see what we've got in knockout nine, shall we? So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100, 5, 10. 110 plus we also have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 120, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh. 130, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 138 pounds from knockout nine. Guys, I cannot believe it. I am so happy. I can't believe we've managed to do that. So let's pop it back in here to keep it all safe. Like I said, I'm probably gonna look to condense that down. But that is just amazing. 138 pounds on knockout nine. Like that's more than what our cash stuff is this week. So we can look to get that reallocated, which I'm so excited about. Let's pop all of that in there. And I probably will look to start this one in the new year. However, I have some new challenges on their way. So 
how exciting. So we are now left with, let's move it over here. We're left with 20, 35, 45, 52 pounds. Wow. Wasn't anticipating having this much money left. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what we've got left on our challenges. Um, I'm just trying to think what else we need for Christmas now. And do we need, I've realized that I need to still buy a gift card for one of my nieces and some wrapping paper. Um, I've got most of my wrapping paper. I also, out of this one the other day, I also bought some really cute little like round gift tags, like label stickers um, for the boys' presents. So I've got that, the wrapping paper. Yeah, I bought a few bits because I think there was like 60 pounds in here. And then, like I said, we've got most of our Christmas chocolates and sweets and all things like that. Um, so yeah, we're really excited about that. So how much should we put in here? Should we put, so I know I need to spend 25 pounds on my niece. So maybe we'll put 25 in there. So I know I've got the gift card covered. And I also need to get some wrapping paper. So maybe we'll pop 30. Let's pop 30 in there for the time being. And I think everything else is gonna be like really last minute -y bits because like food shopping wise and stuff like that, there's not too much more that we need. Um, so if we're popping in 30, what should we color in? Do we have any more gingerbread men? No, we have no more gingerbread men. Or we have a tree, we could do a tree and a snowman, or we could just do, could do two Santa's hats. Let's do two Santa's hats for 30. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my God, what's happened to my colouring this week? So Santa's hat there. And we've got loads going on this week, which is really exciting. It's the kids last week, going into the last week of school. I've also got my son's birthday coming up as well. So I'm busy, busy. I've got to get all of his presents wrapped and I will not share what his present is just yet for his birthday because I know that he does watch my YouTube channel. <laughs> Um, however, he is going to be obsessed with it and I can't believe it. So yeah, I'm, I'm so happy with that. Right. Let's have a look. Should we put, hmm, should we do, we haven't done a go with a throw for a while. Should we do a go with a throw? Let's do a go with a throw. So one, so we've got five pounds going into debt and then let's do another one. And then eight, five pounds going into date night. And then I might, what do I do? Uh, let's maybe, I wonder if we've got some fives in there. Yeah, let's take out two fives and pop in that 10. <clears throat> so we've got a date night, a debt, Seven, our 10th anniversary and our emergency fund. Okay, cool. So let's just say, so we had, I'm gonna take these off, so one for debt, one for emergency fund, one for date night and one for our 10th anniversary. Amazing. Okay, so high priority binder. We've got our emergency fund, which needs a five. Oh, damn it. That only takes tens as well. Okay, so we're going to have to do maybe like half a rain, half a rain cloud, perhaps. Okay, we're going to colour in half a rain cloud for our rainy day fund. Then we also had, so that was for that. Then we also had debt. Okay. So debt was also getting a five. Oh, okay. So that's the last of our fives gone on our debt now. So can't put anything smaller in than a five now. And that is really building up. So that is amazing. Really chuffed with that. <clears throat> then we have our 10th anniversary and date night, which I believe, I wasn't really gonna fill those. Um, I've kind of not been prioritizing those, but we'll put five into date night 
and five into our 10th anniversary. And we knew that we wanted to go away for our 10th anniversary. Um, we've actually slightly changed the plans just because there's somewhere that our son has always wanted to go. So I will look to share a bit more of that soon. But yeah, at the moment, we are looking to save that. We still have a couple of years yet. So now I'm just trying to think, I have nothing and nowhere for this two pound to go, which is really annoying. So I'm just gonna pop it, I think, into the back here. I know this is where one of our challenges goes, but I have nowhere for this to go. And I am waiting on my smaller challenges to come through for like my odd pound coins and stuff like that, which I still haven't got. I've just been so slapdash, so busy. I'm really hoping to get all this sorted for the new year. I'm gonna pop them in there. <clears throat> And that is that done. So I am so excited. I'm so happy that we've managed to get all of our knockout nine done before the new year. And I'm really gonna start working through some of the other challenges in my binder. I would love to try and wrap up as many of them as possible. I know there's not a lot in there at the moment, but it would be amazing to maybe try and get the five pound challenge and the Christmas savings challenge done. And I mean, we do have a way to go with them. The Christmas savings challenge, we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 50, 60, 65, 75, 80. We have 80 pounds left on the Christmas one. So actually that is gonna be more than enough for what we need for the rest of Christmas. Um, but this one we have was that 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25, 50, 75, 100, 25, 50, 75, 100, 200, 225 pounds. I mean, it could be doable. We still have quite a few weeks. Um, and then, yeah, I think, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna work on these two now, see if we can get those done. This one's gonna be a slow burner and see what else we can clear off. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed watching today's video. If you have, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Do stick around because I have lots more content coming and I'm really excited for some cash stuff that I get to do towards the end of the month. But that is everything for me today and I will see you all again in another video very soon. Bye guys.